Hey Geminis, hey y'all, hey y'all, hey y'all, hey y'all. This is LT Tarot doing your mid-month June reading. I just did your um your June reading, your general June reading, whatever. So um, I'm behind, and because you guys, I love you guys, I wanted to give you a reading. Now, um, another reading, a mid-month reading. Also, let me tell you something. I am going to do a extended version of this reading. So I'm going to do a extended version of this week, uh, reading, and um, that will be on my website. So um, definitely go online, and you can purchase the extended on there. And what else I got to tell you? Oh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe. But anyway, so let's see what's going on. Mid-reading. So the reading I just did was just saying that you guys got to get out your head. You know, you got good things coming. You got to get out your head. You got to continue to move forward. Don't let negative stuff talk keep you from living your true desire. So let's see what is going to happen for the rest of this month. So you got the 10 of air, which is your energy. So that card is the end of a difficult situation. So the thing about this card, it just tells you that you need to embrace your change and understand that you guys are no longer in that mind. I mean, that you guys should not be um, in that mindset anymore. And that you guys should embrace the change and expect things to change for the better. You cannot be living in the same mindset of, you know, things are not working out. I'm, what was me, thinking the worst about the situation. You guys definitely got to move in the mindset of, that's the end. That's the end. Now I'm in a new energy. So, let's see what's stopping you guys from moving into that new energy. Um, let's see. Oh my goodness, so nothing. The chariot. So you guys are definitely moving in this energy and you're not looking back. So you may have said, hey, um, things are not working out for me and I'm thinking, woe is me. But now from the 15th, I don't think it's the 15th. Maybe it's today's the 15th. I don't know. <laughs> Now from the 15th to the uh, 1st, you guys are like, I got some important achievements. I got to do what I got to do. You know, I'm my mind is now changing. I'm like, okay, I heard your first reading. I was stuck. Now I'm not stuck anymore. And I'm moving to this new energy where I'm going to get things done. Like you're not, mm -mm. you guys are not um, staying stuck. I see some forward movement. So let's see what's going on right now or that has happened in your recent past. Oh, some, some good stuff has happened. So, you guys are moving into feeling contentment, peace, and abundance. So, you guys are feeling like, I want to make a happy family life no matter what. You, I guess you guys recognize, like, okay, I was being a little pessimistic. And I'm no longer going to be pessimistic. I'm going to move into this new mindset where I'm content. My money good. My love life is really good. What am I complaining about? You know? Why am I giving my dude a hard time? Like, he he actually supplies that needs, you know, do what he needs to do, everything good. Your next six weeks is the king of fire. So, you guys are going to be focus, 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 focus. You guys are going to start communicating with your vision and you're going to actually become a um, a leader. And you, you may get some advice from somebody who say, yeah girl you was pretty you was pretty pessimistic about this relationship you was pretty pessimistic about this job i don't know what happened maybe you got rid of that self talk that negative self talk but i see that happening two of uh, a water you guys want a relation at your aspiration is that you want a relationship to get closer so maybe you kind of moved out of that mindset of negative self talk and now you move into the mindset of yes i want it. um I want the two of cups. I want, you know, I want us to share our cups. I want to toast this good love, this new beginning of this uh, love. I want, you know, if we had some conflict, I want some positive resolution to that conflict because I feel like you are my soulmate and we can make this work. And so that's what I'm getting. Like, there's a lot of forgiveness, a lot of new love. You kind of like, 
I'm doing what I need to do, boo. I ain't, I ain't playing no games. You hear me? <laughs> no games. Like, we definitely moving forward. And that's what you want. Your aspiration is that you're moving forward. Subconsciously, you kind of feel like you're missing the opportunity. You feel like maybe you put this relationship on the back burner. So you kind of wanted the relationship. Your aspiration is to have a good relationship with this person. But you kind of feel like maybe you put this relationship on the back burner. Maybe you feel a little uh, discontent. And you feel now you, I feel like you open your eyes to the possibility because you know, like, it was me that was tripping. It's not them. You know, they've done some things, but maybe I'm um, thinking about my past. And I'm putting my past, you know, this past guy, this past girl with this uh, this new person. You got this card again. And your advice card is that you're going to review and uh, reevaluate things. You're going to take a, um, you're going to move into a new direction. So you're not going to... Um, stay in that mindset anymore of um, the mindset you had of being pessimistic you're no longer going to do that and you're going to move into this new direction and it's crazy that this is all about love when it's a general supposed to be a general uh, a general money reading but it's like you taking a new approach uh, it's pretty much what you're doing Your energy is that you have the will of fortune. So the will of fortune is, is that you have a positive change. Like things are going to move forward and money is on your side. So you take that, taking the approach, the new approach is going to provide money to you. It's going to make you happy. Like for, you know, you don't have, if you were stressed, stressed about money, you no longer have to be stressed about money because things are going to work out for you. Like your love life is going to be good. Your, um, your money is going to be good. You're no longer pessimistic about this love. Things is going to work out. Your advice, I mean, your, um, sorry, that is your um, hopes and fears. And your hopes and fears is that you got a lot of decisions to make. You got some, you got to think about some things. So I guess to get, uh, so you're, you're, I think what you're saying to yourself is that, okay, I want some good things to happen to me right i want some good things to happen to me but i know that there's options out there i can take because remember you're taking a new approach so you're like i know there's options out there to take and i have a lot of opportunities coming which one is the right one but deep down in your heart you know which one is the right one you know that dude that you've been talking to for the last few months is the one you know that girl you've been talking to for the last few months is the one you know that job ain't it but you know which one you want and you know which one you can manifest so, let's see. And your outcome is that you guys are going to kind of get a, get rid of this false sense of entrapment. So, that's the thing that you're going to be working on for the next two months, I mean two weeks, is that you guys are going to get rid of this false sense of entrapment, this negative fear-based um, thoughts. So, things are going to be up for you. It's just that once you get rid of this negative fear-based thoughts and this false sense of entrapment then you'll be able to man start manifesting more and seeing the things that you desire come true and you're not going to be so pessimistic about it when it comes to desire uh, you know your desires like okay i got the man in my life but is he really the man in my life is this really gonna work out is he really for me <laughs> you guys are good like don't do that to yourself like i just want you to guys to Living your truth, be happy, show love, show that Gemini way. This is still Gemini month, ain't it? Yeah. So, but we got to come out of it and go into Cancer and then Leo's. <laughs> so anyway, like, don't feel any type of way, you guys, because everything is gonna work out. The only thing that's stopping you from living your dream and your true life is you. So if you get rid of that negative fear-based thoughts, then, honey child, you can do whatever you want, just straight up. So, anyway, my loves, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want the extended version of this reading, go on my website. And you can um, purchase it on my website. And I'll send you the 
the extended version. So any guy, anyway, guys, have a good weekend. Have a good rest of your two weeks. I will be coming, uh, doing your love reading soon. So be looking out for that. Bye.